Hello and welcome to your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Dr. Patrick Hogg. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Good morning, this is your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Patrick Hogg. Does stress cause physical problems? That's a really interesting question. It's a question I get asked all the time in the practice. Does stress cause physical problems? Well, let me just ask you this. Think about the last time you had an argument or someone started shouting at you, or someone irritated you in the bank, or a car pulled out in front of you. Simply think about what happened to your heart rate and your breathing rate. And this is probably this most simple example, the thing that people can think of the most when someone is under chronic stress, is that if someone starts shouting at us, or we get into an argument, or we have someone pull out in front of us in a car, our breathing rate and our heart rate will start to increase. Now, interestingly enough, these are not the only two things that will start to change. So when we are emotionally stressed, like I say, our heart rate will start to go up, our breathing rate will start to go up, our digestion starts to go down, our muscles start to become tense around the neck, arms, shoulders, and legs. Blood flow starts to recirculate away from our organs and towards our muscles. And so there are multiples and multiples and multiples of different functions that are starting to happen in our body when we're under chronic stress. Now, interestingly enough, what this starts to do is it creates changes in the way that our physiology starts to work, our brain chemistry starts to work, and yes, it can start to cause physical symptoms. It's really interesting that there's a lot of research going into stuff like CEOs or high pressure or high stress jobs and how many heart attacks they'll have when they stop working or within a very short period of time when they retire. Uh, same again with uh, people with PTSD and how really like they develop symptoms beyond just stress, anxiety, outbursts, etc. Now, the thing is, is that there are things that we can do about it, but the first thing that we should always be doing is become aware of the stresses. Become aware of the stresses. So this is something that we like to try and help people become aware of here at Complete Health. We think it's super important that stress is managed. Why? Well, because I know it contributes to all of the stuff that is going on with people in their spines, in their bodies, in their muscles, in their tissues, in their health, in their blood pressure, in their... So stress management is super, super important. So if you're under chronic stress, first thing, identify the fact you're under chronic stress. Second thing, start trying to put means and methods or tactics in place to try and help you to resolve that. And if you haven't got any, that is when trying to seek out the right advice may be the solution for you. So like I say, does chronic stress cause symptoms physically? Absolutely, 100%, it will cause problems with people's health if they allow it to continue for long periods of time. Patrick Kiffin, Complete Health, this is Dave Dose. Take care for now, we'll speak to you soon.